probably my number one strategy is to treat everyone as colleagues, to value everyone's skills and expertise and everything that they can bring to the job. Um, provide the most resources and tools that you can and advocate for your employees and your colleagues every time and any opportunity you get. Always operate with integrity. Um, that's a key, key factor for me. As transparent as you can be about decision making and being inclusive in decision making is extremely important. An example of that is our team uh, at our Middlefield campus at Foothill College had some money set aside for capital improvements. Instead of me making that decision or just the managers, we actually put our entire team together, came up with a list of projects, then we all ranked them and prioritized them and we selected the highest projects as a group that we thought would benefit the most number of students. All the colleagues here then felt empowered and that they were part of that decision-making process. So it raised morale and that people were willing to, to reach out and perform at a higher level simply because they had more tools and resources and they had some say in picking those tools and resources that would make their jobs easier. So I think the overall view of that is empowering your colleagues, making sure you always focus on family first, to support your, your team and colleagues as a group, and do everything you can to keep morale up and thank you, saying thank you all the time or saying thank you regularly for people who are helping, you know, and doing their job and, and keeping things going during difficult times.